It was a silly mistake. I've been driving on the buses for years. Never have I made such a stupid mistake. I did check my blind spots, but I just didn't lean forward. I just couldn't see him. It was only a low speed impact. I must have been going no more than five miles an hour, but he banged his head on the windscreen and then again on the floor. I mean, he looked fine. I just went into a bit of a daze. Things went so slowly. I will never forget. It was like a lifetime before the paramedics arrived. The frustrating thing is, it was all so avoidable. We all know about blind spots. We drive every day, we're professionals. But that one lapse can lead to a deadly error. A blind spot is an area of hidden ground caused by the vehicle's bodywork. There are multiple blind spots around your bus, which are points where there is limited or no visibility around your vehicle without adjusting your body position. On the left, the main ones are at 10 and 11 o'clock. The viewpoint is restricted at several points during a manoeuvre, or even when parked at a bus stop and incurs the most incidents. Clearly shown on multiple blind spots when looking left at this area from the driver's cab. At 12 o'clock there is a full blind spot under the cab, which children or elderly pedestrians may pass in front of while stopped. On the right there is a one o'clock blind spot, which can be even more restricted due to the mirror positioning. This blind spot has similar issues as the 10 and 11 o'clock blind spots when turning right. The mirror at this point can be adjusted to reduce the blind spot's area and increase visibility. Most collisions occur when turning into a junction, especially when there are many pedestrians, for example entrances to bus stations and turning into town centres. This diagram shows the extent of a bus's blind spot. 8 o'clock through to 11 o'clock. Vehicle design plays a large part in increasing blind spot areas, and then the driver's failure to check the blind spot areas when in motion and when undertaking a manoeuvre. People walk at approximately 4 miles an hour. When a bus slows to turn a 90 degree bend, it also slows to approximately 4 miles an hour. This movement enhances the blind spots, as both the pedestrian and the vehicle are moving at the same pace, meaning the pedestrian may remain in the blind spot for the duration of the manoeuvre. We all know where these blind spots are. We now need to eliminate them. As a driver, we are responsible not only for the passengers on board, but the pedestrians around us. We must lean to look into the blind spot area before making any manoeuvre. Lean and learn before you turn. Look around into the hidden ground. <laughs>